I told y'all that NC State didn't deserve to be ranked number 14. Let's go, Dinks! <laughs> That's my best friend. Last night, Wake Forest defeated NC State 27-23. Before I go into details about the game, I want to read you the first text that I got right after the game. This is from someone who graduated from NC State. It says, Have you, ever, have you seen enough NC State football yet to understand why we never expect NC State to win? NC State could lose against Northmore on a Thursday night at home on ESPN and it wouldn't surprise me. The whole program is destined for mediocrity. We will never turn the corner and become a consistently good program. I love that. That made my day when I saw that. So I was at the game last night, and it was amazing. I was cheering so hard for Wake Forest. I brought my friend with me, told him he had to be my bodyguard so that no Wolfpack fans beat me up. Wake Forest won the game 27-23 to on a last-minute touchdown. It was amazing. Jamie Newman made his first career start in college. He went 22 for 33 with 297 yards and three touchdowns. He outplayed a great quarterback in Ryan Finley. Ryan Finley also had a decent game. It wasn't a really good game for him. He went 35 for 52 for 374 yards and a touchdown and an interception, but the interception was a hell maybe on the last play of the game, so I won't hold that against him. But overall, Wake Forest played better than NC State in this game. It was amazing. I told you that NC State didn't deserve to be ranked number 14. I told you! They moved up 7 spots for beating one team that has a losing record. It doesn't make sense. Florida State is 4-5 and five this year. And yet, when you beat them, you move up 7 spots to number 14? That doesn't make sense, and that should not be happening. NC State's passing defense is terrible. They're ranked 129 out of 130. That is awful! How are you ranked 14th in the country and have a defense that terrible? But they won't be ranked anymore, but how were you ranked that high and had a defense that awful? They let wide receivers for Wake Forest catch the ball all day on them. That's probably why Jamie Newman, in his first career start, had such a good game. Say Surratt, my favorite player for Wake Forest, had eight receptions, 109 yards. Quarterback making his first start. Newman with lots of time going deep left sideline. It is hauled in. Greg Dorch had 6 receptions, 75 yards, and a touchdown. Alex Bachman had 4 receptions for 59 yards and a touchdown. And Jack Frutenthal also added a touchdown. It was a great performance for the wide receivers for Wake Forest. NC State proved that they cannot defend the pass. So that's all that you should do if you're an offense playing against NC State, is pass the ball completely. And now the quick tempo, they're going deep to the other side. And a great catch on this side from Alex Bachman. This game made me so happy. Even though I picked NC State in my last video, I was cheering so hard for Wake Forest. It made me so happy to see Wake Forest win this game. And in closing, I'm going to show you the play that made Wake Forest win this game. Here's a state blitz. Newman throws over the middle pass. Going to be caught at the 25, 20, picking up his feet, putting him down. Touchdown! 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 We can make a wildfire get away.